on guys dad dash back here again with another video and i wanted to talk about the upcoming um rumored uh lowering of base pay on doordash and what that could mean for us out here and what do i think it means i think it means nothing i think that what the important core thing that everybody needs to understand uh when dealing with things like pay reductions and stuff like that is that what this means is is that there's going to be if you is that you know you still set your limits and set your your standards and again this is where we talk about order value and why order value is the most important metric that drives everything so in other words if you are wanting to have a certain order value that you're wanting to focus on when you're out working uh, and that these orders must meet and qualify for that particular value then all you're going to be focusing on is orders that will meet that criteria by doordash offering less that's going to require them to have to figure out how they're going to they're either going to have to encourage a customer to tip more which is i think what they're going to do or b is they're going to have to figure out you know how to get the orders out and what what level to get the orders out at so in other words they can lower the base pay as much as they like all that is is a starting point so if we continue to not accept orders at below a certain level it doesn't matter how low they take the base pay those orders will sit eventually they will come up and eventually if you get the right order value whether there's a tip there or not it doesn't really matter if it makes sense within your uh profitability profile for your business then you're fine so essentially what i'm saying is is that base pay which is really misleading when you see somebody post something and say well doordash is lowering their base pay so what we're going to demand from doordash a certain amount of value out of each order whether there's tip there, whether whether there's base pay or tip, it doesn't really matter. We're saying for us to go to work, this order must represent a certain order value. End of story. If that doesn't exist, if we can't meet that, well, we're not going to do business. And if we, as drivers, continue to focus on order value and extracting the most value out of orders every single day when we're out and making the best decisions that we can make, and making profitable decisions, then things like lower base pay won't matter because what will happen is, is it will get bid up anyways. Um, and I understand there's gonna be people out there that are gonna take that, but listen, they're gonna take themselves out of the economy because they will realize that, you know what, we can't survive. And if someone's willing to take a negative value order where they're actually losing money on the order or making so little that they can't make enough to hit their own personal goals eventually they're not going to be around as a driver and a business owner and they're going to go out of business and they're going to find something else to do so my message is just keep doing what you're doing if you're doing things right and doing things right is is setting a order value guideline for yourself of exactly what type of profit value you're an order value you're trying to hit Focus on that, shut down the noise. Don't worry about base pay, because we're not working for base pay. We're not working for tips. Those are all pieces of the puzzle. What we're looking for is, if you're trying to generate $20 profit an hour, then you need to understand exactly what type of order you're looking to get, what type of order value you're looking to get. That might be $25, that might be $30. You might only need $22 in your market, depending on what's going on. Maybe you're okay with getting $15 uh, profit after, you know, taxes, $10, whatever it is. You set your standard, you go after it, you understand the amount of money you need to earn per minute when you're out. Use your chart um, if you're using one so you know what it is you're focused on. Have that number ready to go. Have your divisor ready to go. So when you accept an order, you understand how, what the time frame is that you need to complete that order, see how it goes, see if you were successful, see if you were able to make it a more valuable order, and go from there. If you do all that, everything will fall in line.
base pay, tips, none of that really matters. What really matters is, in the end of the day, or did you get enough value out of your orders that you took? And did you make the right decisions when you did that? And if you did, then you will have made enough money. Anyways, guys, I leave you with that perspective to consider, digest, um, as you're moving forward on this uh, morning. Uh, and uh, hopefully going out and making the most profitable decisions that you can possibly make. All right, guys, I'll be talking to you soon. Um, good luck, be profitable. And remember, every profitable outcome begins with a profitable decision. Talk to you soon.